Overview of Las Vegas High Rise Condo Market 2016 In this video, we will discuss 1. Median sales prices and appreciation rates for all high rise condo towers in Las Vegas from 2012, which is when the market bottomed out, to 2015 in order to show you that price gains are not uniform at all. The numbers of Las Vegas high rise condo towers that are listed in the Las Vegas MLS include short sales and foreclosures. All Las Vegas residential high rise condos and condo hotel towers are included. Three sales statistics for all units sold in 2015, including foreclosures and short sales. Four provide an overview of Las Vegas high rise market in 2016. In order to preserve data integrity, we are only using Las Vegas high-rise condos that have been sold through the Greater Las Vegas MLS in our Las Vegas high-rise market report. So when we talk about price gain or appreciation, it means median sales price gain for units that have been sold through the Las Vegas MLS only. We did not include builders' private sales or bulk sales data in our report. The median price appreciation rate for Las Vegas high-rise condo towers since 2012, which is when the market recovery started, varies greatly. The sales price gain from 2012 to 2015 for Soho Lofts stands at 62%, while the same for Trump International Hotel stands at zero. We will show you the median sales prices for all Las Vegas high-rise condo towers from 2012 to 2015 later. Let's discuss available units that are not under contract. As of January 2016, there are 635 for sale listings in the Las Vegas MLS high-rise category that are not under contract. Some of these listings are true high-rise towers and some mid-rise luxury condos that are 4 to 11 stories high. In order to use historical Las Vegas MLS median prices, for now we will honor this and include mid-rise condos in our report. So when we use high-rise, mid-rise projects are included. As we mentioned, currently there are 635 high-rise and mid-rise condo for sale listings in the Las Vegas MLS that are not under contract. After 2012, high-rise builders started listing their new units in the Las Vegas MLS, and even though many units are listed in the MLS, not all are. The same goes for sold units, but the missing units should only affect sales numbers but not have a pronounced effect on the median prices below. We do not include units that were sold in bulk transactions. For example, Sky Las Vegas sold 64 units in September 2015 for $18.1 million, or about $190 per square foot. Let's talk about effective foreclosures and short sales on Las Vegas high-rise condo market. Only 9 out of 635 high-rise condo listings are foreclosures or bank-owned units. It is amazing to see how much the high-rise foreclosure numbers have shrunk in only 3 years. Another 11 listings are short sales. Only 3% of all listings are distressed units and their effect on the high-rise condo market is negligible. As it comes to median asking or sales prices of distressed high-rise condos, the sample size is way too small to draw any accurate conclusions especially since foreclosures bring higher prices than short sales. 704 high-rise and mid-rise luxury condos sold in 2015 were the median sales price of $280,000. Only 38 or 5.9% were short sales and another 33 or 5.6% were foreclosures or bank-owned high-rise condos. The median days on the market for the units that sold in the past year is 43 days, which means these listings are selling relatively quickly. The small gap between the median price of listings that are not under contract and those which have been sold means that these units do not get full offer price prices, especially in higher price ranges. Let's discuss price appreciation for Las Vegas high-rise condominiums since the market bottomed out. In the Great Recession, sales prices for luxury high-rise condominiums around the Las Vegas Boulevard or the Strip dropped drastically to 35-50% to of the original building cost. However, recovery started in 2012 and prices are up sharply since, but are still far below replacement cost and will go up as demand increase. In the last video, Interactive Las Vegas High-Rise and Luxury Mid-Rise Condo Map, 
we talked about inclusion of properties that are 11 stories or below in the Greater Las Vegas MLS high-rise category, which we follow, and that is the way they calculate median prices. This table shows the appreciation rate for what the Las Vegas MLS calls Las Vegas high-rise condos since 2012. We thought that it is more instructive to show price appreciation rates for all Las Vegas high-rise towers from 2012. However, it must be stated that real appreciation rates for specific condos is done through doing a comprehensive market analysis for that condo. Some of the median sales prices are based on just a few sales, and that's not very reliable. Park Towers is a good example, or in some case, we just did not have enough data. It is easy to see that just like Greater Las Vegas homes and condos, the appreciation rate was greatest in 2012 and 2013, and tapered off in 2014 and 2015. Soho Lofts, One Queens Ridge, Newport Lofts, and Regency Towers surpassed 50% sales price appreciation since 2012. However, condo hotels did not perform as well as residential high-rise condos, and the four lowest rate of appreciation belongs to condo hotels. Among these, Palms Place and Platinum did better than MGM Grand Signature Condos. Trump Tower's median price appreciation gain from 2012 is zero. The median price gain for city centers Mandarin Oriental and Beer Towers and for the Metropolis are from 2013, since we did not have data for 2012 and there was a big price gain in 2012. Some properties in lower price ranges have appreciated more than others, like Newport Lofts or Soho Lofts and Regency Towers. Sky Las Vegas and especially Allure Condos have been hurt by demolition of casinos and other properties on North Las Vegas Boulevard and especially the Sahara Casino which recently reopened as SLS Las Vegas. However, construction has returned to the North Strip which should benefit them. As we have shown, appreciation rates are not uniform for all Las Vegas high-rise condos, so it is not wise to make a blanket statement about how Las Vegas high-rise condos will appreciate in 2016. Those condo towers that have done well since the recovery will continue to do so, especially those that kept appreciating in 2015 and are obviously a better choice to invest in than the others. We will be happy to discuss any high-rise tower in much greater detail with you upon request. If you want to buy, sell, or invest in Las Vegas Henderson or North Las Vegas high-rise or luxury mid-rise condominiums, please call us at 800-762-4917 or email us. You can find our contact info below the video. Please like and share if you find the information useful and subscribe to our Las Vegas Real Estate channel for upcoming videos. On behalf of the Sabre team, this is Karen Saberzade of Realty One Group and www dot las vegas for us dot com wishing you a great day.